Hello everybody, this is Chris Mackey and this is your 12th tutorial on honeybee energy modeling. And, uh, and now, now you guys have sort of gotten a base, You've, uh, you, know, you know how to set up a, a honeybee energy simulation, you know how to, uh, what, generally what the rules are for the geometry. Um, and in this video I'm now going to give you guys, empower you guys with a, with a particularly, uh, I mean, a, a different way of sort of creating zone geometry with honeybee. So we, we sort of have used this kind of this fast track of, uh, of you know, of just taking zone B reps and assigning all these things, you know, very, you know as quick as we possibly could could um, with, with these components here, but I'm going to show you a method in this video uh, for how to make a zone on a surface by surface basis. And I think, and this is a particularly important method because um, I mean, if, if, when you get to later stages in design, I mean, in, when you're just starting out, like this method is great, like, you know, it allows you to set up things very quickly and you can get feedback in a, in a, in a very quick fashion that, you know, you just need basically like almost three components and, you know, and boom, you have your zones ready for your simulation. But, you know, as you get later on in the design process, you know, you'll start to say like, well, that's, you know, I mean, that is a weird attic window. And, and I mean, and that, you know, and that's, I mean, I can tell you also because the attic was my room growing up that, that, that that is not at all what, uh, what the the window is like on on my room on the attic space there. So you want to like sort of customize your zones and build them up surface by surface, um, and that's why. It's, all right, so we're going to go back to my my house in this video, and we're going to uh, you know make build up at least this attic zone on a surface by surface basis, so that you know so we get full control over everything that you know that is shaping this zone, um, and you know and so we get a very detailed and accurate energy model. So so the way that we do this. All right, I mean let me I'm going to turn the the preview off on um, on this and you know and I'm gonna actually not not generate the zones because we're gonna be doing some stuff first in Rhino uh, let me see I'm gonna show show the zone geometry to begin with and you see so I've got now in this Rhino file I've got surfaces that represent my windows that I'm going to eventually bring into into uh, into the uh, the model here that, that we're gonna build but uh, in this in this first video we're actually just gonna focus on bringing bringing all these other surfaces in surface by surface into into creating a, a honeybee zone and then in the next video we'll actually add those windows there so I'm gonna I'm gonna focus on just the attic zone so I'm gonna hide everything else um, and uh, and just this this zone geometry here so actually I'm gonna I'm gonna explode this uh, this first so we can build it up surface by surface into a zone into something very 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 customized into exactly uh, how you know how how it actually is in reality. So okay, all right. So let's bring bring up Grasshopper again, and I'm gonna br start to bring in all the surfaces of a similar type, essentially. Well, actually, yeah, okay, yeah. So I'll bring in the in the surfaces that have windows uh, on on each on their own sort of level first. So make a B rep and uh, you know I'll just go set one B rep oh, oh and I, I should also say if you guys remember back to previous videos you remember that we got a you know when we ran the auto auto uh, generate glazing on this window, you remember we got all these weird triangulated stuff, and I, and I simplified the surface at one point in there so that we didn't get that. Um, but this is also, I mean, just so you know, this is also a method. You know, if you're getting crazy ge window geometry like that in this in this fast method, you could always use this surface by surface method to to you know to kind of make things more accurate. So all right, so on with the show. Let's uh, let's set one B rep there. Um, let's see. We'll take all of the. Uh, we'll, We'll, you know, uh, control C, control V that, and we'll bring in another B rep here. Um, uh, let's see. Maybe we'll bring in all the roofs on, you know, as one sort of B rep there. Uh, so I'm going to do, so just select all of the roof B reps and go set multiple B reps. And let's see, and maybe we'll make another one for, oh, actually, I should probably keep track of these. I should probably say window wall one. And, you know, and you can do this easily, you know, just, just for your own sanity's uh, sake. Window wall, wall two. Um, and what did we say? This one was the uh, roof. Oh, actually, what did we say this one? Yeah, I guess we must have said roofs. And then this one we had just copy pasted. Um, so all right, so maybe this one will be internal internal floors. So set multiple B reps, and we'll do 
uh, well, just floors, because all of our floors are internal for this attic. Uh, and let's see, what else are we missing? We're missing just these last ones that, uh, that are, let's see, we have internal walls and actually external walls there too. So we'll actually we'll bring those in. And you know, I mean, I'm doing this on, on you know, each has separate B-reps so that, uh, you know, so you really get full control. Because you, you'll see in a second, um, you know, that, uh, that you're able to set constructions and stuff that are different for each of these things. Um, so let's see, what do we want? We want to be external wall. And then we'll do this last one, this internal wall that is facing um, set one BREP internal wall. Okay, so we bring in all of, the, all of our separate surfaces of our zones. And now, now the magic thing that allows us to start to turn these, these just geometries into things that have properties in uh, in in you know that that relate to an energy simulation is this special little honeybee create HB surfs uh, component here and a lot of you might be familiar with this create HB surfs component already if you use honeybee for daylight because this is probably how you usually bring in a lot of your uh, um, your your geometry with that so I'm just going to drag and drop this this uh, this honeybee create HB surfs component into uh, onto the canvas and you can see that you know it basically it just takes a geometry which is you know surface and if you connect your uh, a surface up to there it will you know you're automatically able to get control over you can assign a name to that surface you know and that makes it easier to keep track of it down the line as you remember in the import results you get the names of surfaces on on the header of that data you can set a surface type which actually I think we want to do here because we know this one is a wall so I think I'm just going to make a panel with quotation marks and do zero for wall. No, uh, yes, zero for wall. Um, and I'm going to hook that up there so that now, you know, we begin, can begin to really sign like a fine level of properties to this. Um, uh, you know, on, on this level, and you know, say that we had a different construction, like this wall was a different construction than another wall in the same zone. We can assign that here, and you know, and and, and get full control over it. But uh, but you know, let's. I mean, I think I'm going to go with the kind of default uh, default wall construction with this. But you know, you can also change the boundary condition, and this is actually the customized boundary condition. I will say it's very important um, if you have underground surfaces, because you notice that you can set uh, the boundary condition to ground there. Uh, and that's particularly important. Um, well, if you guys remember, I said earlier that anything below the rhino origin gets set as underground zones, essentially, or underground walls, or any, anything that's below there. But the thing is, you don't always have an even ground plane to, in, you know, in, in your energy simulation. And you can use this method to really set a customized ground plane to actually say what exactly is underground and what is above ground. Um, so I mean, so that's really powerful in in that respect. Um, but uh, but in our case here, I mean, I'm going to leave the boundary condition, you know, just as it is, and I'm going to uh, you know just actually do a copy and paste uh, paste of this this component, and you know hook up the window wall two. Window wall two is going to you know it's the same exact thing. Uh, and you may be asking why why did I set different uh, you know did, why do I need different uh, surface one uh, components for this one? And you'll see it in the next video when I sign. Uh, glazing that that actually have, have, you know is a little helpful to have them as, as separate HP surfaces. Um, oh, and I should say, I mean, I'm sorry. Actually, I kind of rushed ahead of myself. Then you'll see that what you get out of this is you know just like in the same way that uh, that we pass our geometry B reps through this component to get out HB zones. Uh, well, we're not getting them out now because I set that to false. The same, the same sort of principle operates here that you pass a surface through here and you know, and it comes through as a surface that's assigned with all these energy properties, all these, these energy simulation properties. Um, so you know, even though you're getting, you're putting in an untrimmed surface and you're getting out an untrimmed surface, um, you know, it's still, there's a whole bunch of properties that are being assigned in this, in this interim step. Um, so sorry, I didn't, I didn't go over the outputs there. And you can say that, you know, I mean, the README will also sometimes give you extra stuff. But, you know, just to say what's coming out of that component. Uh, so, all right, so let's just do this quickly for the rest of our surfaces and our zones. We'll take, um, let's see, we'll do a control C and control V again for this, uh, for our roof's geometry. But now, now we'd actually, oh, and it's actually giving us, because there's actually a check in here that does uh, the normal uh, calculation for us. And so it's saying that, you know, it, it sends that these things actually should have already been roofs. So actually we're going we're gonna to change this to be uh, uh, roof, uh, surface type one, which is, which is roof. Um, and it's actually, it's weird. It's still giving me, so the normal direction of the surface is expected for a roof. Um, 
the surface is more likely a wall. Well, actually, well, in this case, this is this is okay. So this is actually it's interesting because it's 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 this is at an angle and it didn't necessarily maybe recognize it as a roof. Um, but uh, so the thing is, that's actually it's very important that we put in the surface type of roof for this one at, at one. Um, so so as we build it up surface by surface. So all right, so we did that for roofs. Then we you know we'll take the default roof construction. Uh, let's see, we'll do it for the floors. Uh, let's see. In order to do it for the floors, we'll have to connect up the floors there. And then the surface type for floor is two. So I'll just set two there. Um, and yes, and that'll take all of our floor reference B reps and do that. And let's see. And we'll take the external walls, and those would be of surface type, uh, just type zero. That's all that we really need there. Uh, okay. And, uh, and yeah, and I'm going to take all the default constructions, but I'll show you guys later actually how to search for constructions and, and change those if you wanted to. Because as, as I've said before, there's a big uh, surface library that, that will, will help you do that. But okay, all right, now we've, you know, I mean, this, we've kind of very much expanded. It's not as clean as our initial workflow, but we get a very high level of control over, over you know, over what we can do with the different zone geometry here that we didn't have before. Um, and so, and so that, I mean, this is just taking, you know, I just wanted to take you through the method of as assigning these individual HB surfaces. And in the next video, we're going to assign the windows, uh, to, to this, these surfaces. Um, and then so, you know, so we get them ready to actually turn them into, into a complete zone that we can then feed back into our workflow here where we solve adjacencies with the other zones and, and, you know, so on and so forth to, to finally pass them into the energy simulation. So, okay. So that's it for this, this video that I'm I mean, this is just introducing you to this new method um, and um, and I'll see you guys in the next one and thanks for watching as always.